We're on the Glenfalloch Estate in the hills above Loch Lomond and we're talking about climate and nature and nature-based solutions and looking at peatland restoration in action. So nature-based solutions are an approach to how you use the natural environment to help us tackle climate change, tackle the climate emergency. So nature through soils and forests and vegetation lock up carbon and carbon and other greenhouse gases are the things that cause global warming through climate change. Everybody needs to understand that what happens on our hills affects us all. So peatlands form as plant vegetation slowly dies and rather than decomposing over time, it stores this big wet sponge that's full of carbon and other greenhouse gases. One of the critical things about peatland though, is that if peatland is drained or damaged, basically has the kind of top vegetation scalped off it, it starts releasing that carbon and those other greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. So eroded or damaged peatland is effectively contributing towards climate climate change and the climate emergency. So we're up here doing really important work with local land managers about sort of recapping and re-wetting those peatland soils to trap that carbon and also get in a position where they can start to accumulate and sequester or capture more carbon. I'm David Lowes, I'm one of the partners of Glen Falloch. Well, there are several benefits. One is obviously managing the water flow. One is reinstating and improving the habitat and of course storing carbon and so it was frankly a no-brainer to to um, get involved and embrace it and we have done. Healthy woodlands and healthy peatlands help mitigate the impact of flooding events particularly really devastating flood events. This is sort of multi multi generational project work where where the work we lay down today the small saplings that might be planted into the soil or the peatland restoration might actually only be realised in their full glory in two, three generations' time, which is quite an amazing legacy to, to work within. Woodland expansion, healthy woodlands, healthy forests are another major nature-based solution to tackle the climate emergency. And critically important though, native woodlands particularly are so important for our wildlife. I mean, they produce oxygen, they support thousands of species, they're beautiful places for people to enjoy. So Glenfingle sits in the heart of the Great Trossex Forest National Nature Reserve and within Loch Lomond at Trossex National Park. The vision for the estate is actually to create a dynamic ecosystem of a variety of different habitats amongst, amongst which woodlands is one of them. We've created about 1,800 hectares of new woodland on the estate. We've also done a lot of uh, ancient woodland restoration. The ancient woodlands are our most valuable uh, woodlands. They're a bit comparable to like our cathedrals in the building environment, and they're irreplaceable. Once they're gone, we can't recreate them. So we've been spending a lot of time and effort um, to kind of yeah, keep those woodlands in a good condition. There are multiple challenges, if, if we're honest. I think this, the start of it is, is the scale. We know that we need to act quickly and that we haven't got I suppose a huge amount of time in terms of if we're to change the direction of uh, global warming, certainly. We need lots of land managers to agree to this. We need the resources to do it. We need the skills, we need the people and we need the jobs. We need a, a whole new generation of people who understand. The future really, I think, looks good in terms of us being able to make a decent contribution to the climate emergency. I hope that Glenfinglas in 20 plus time would look like bigger, better, more joint up and resilient enough to be able to adjust to the changes ahead. Restoring thousands of hectares of peatland, allowing thousands of hectares of, of woodland and forest to expand and re-naturalising our, our rivers and managing our, our flooding is the challenge of our generation, I suppose. So, you know, it needs to be our, our legacy. Uh, it's a really exciting time, uh, but we've got a very, very big job to do.